Senator Marshall. Thank you, Madam Chair. My first question for Dr. Walensky. As a physician, we always want to be able to know and discuss the benefits and risk of anything that we're prescribing, including a vaccine. It's estimated that 40, maybe 50 percent of children have already had the COVID virus. What are the additional benefits to the vaccine to a child who's already had the virus? I think it very much depends on what the variant that child might have had, whether they could potentially be infected or reinfected. Um, and, you know, one thing I just want to note with the children is um, I, I think we fall into this um, flawed thinking of saying that only 400 of these 600,000 deaths from COVID-19 have been in children. Um, children are not supposed to die. And so 400 is, is a huge amount for a, for a, season, a respiratory Thanks. season. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Woodcock, how many children under the age of 18 without a pre-existing condition, a significant health condition, have died from COVID in this country? I don't, I don't have that at my fingertips. I'm sorry. Dr. Woodcock. Over, over 400. Without, pre, without health oh, that condition. I don't, I, that I don't so know. So I think without. the answer is probably zero. So I think if you, if you take a deep dive, most of the children that have died had some type of underlying health condition. Dr. 